I'm asking One you. One thing you know about me, Mr. B. When I make a promise, I keep it. Then I'll be ready in 40 minutes. <laughs> So that's the way it stands now. Mr. B's got himself over a barrel and he don't know how to get off. Well, it's his own fault. He started, didn't he? Oh, well, he's got a point. I guess I do sometimes talk too much. Oh, yeah, I've noticed that. Yeah, and, and I guess I do have a tendency to, to butt in. Oh, yeah, there's no doubt about that. What do you mean there's no doubt about that? Well, I... Well, you're the one that said it. I was just agreeing with you. Well, you didn't have to agree so fast. <laughs> well, I figure Mr. B suffered long enough, and I'm going to get him off the hook just before he goes to the office this morning. Oh, Hazel, you're so loyal. Besides, he'll be so grateful when I let him off. There he is. Woo-hoo, Mr. B, just a minute. Yes, Hazel? You was asking my advice last night for Mr. Griffin? I know, Hazel. When you make a promise, you never break it. You told me that. You mean you're still sore about it? I'm not sore. I'm just not going to give you the pleasure of turning me down again, that's all. But, Mr. B! I'm going to have the market research people run a survey on it for me. Now, forget it. <laughs> well, for Pete's sake, how do you like that? I told you to let him stew. I sure will. I'm beginning to stew myself a little. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, waiter. Where's Madame Farina? I told her you were waiting. Oh. Well, there she is now. Oh. Ah, uh, Mr. Griffin. Hello, Madame Farina. It is nice to see my favorite customer again. How's business? I'm sorry you ask. In the words of the immortal Juan Ramon Salazar, king of the gypsies, business stinks. Oh, I'm sorry <laughs> to hear that. For you, I see in the cards big things, Mr. Griffin. You're about to make an important financial move. Is it not so? That's right. Uh, could you tell that just by glancing at the cards? In the hands of Madame Farina, the cards tell all. Now, wait a minute. I make a lot of business deals. That's no secret. Uh, which uh, important financial move do you see in the cards there? You're just trying to trick me, Mr. Griffin. Uh -huh. You know very well which deal I mean. The one you are thinking of yeah. right now. The skillet invention? Well, I'll be darned. That's amazing. It's always such a pleasure to read for you, Mr. Griffin. All right, go ahead, read them. I'm a hard-headed businessman, you know. I don't believe in this stuff. But it is fun. Oh, I uh, hurt your feelings, did I? If you will cross my pond with money, my feelings will never hurt. Uh, there you are. Now, go ahead. What do you see? I see more about this big money deal you have going into. Oh, I haven't gone into it yet. I'm... Of course not. I see by this card and this that opposing forces are working on your mind. You are thinking, but you have not yet decided. Right, that's absolutely right. I'm not sure yet whether to put money into it or not. Ah, the queen, a woman. You mean I should ask a woman about it? A woman must tell you what to do. Don't make a move until she say. How about that? I knew it, I just had a feeling. <laughs> this woman is very wise, my friend. If she does not like the deal, poof, out, but. If she say, put in your money, you will be rich. Oh, that's great news, Madam Farina. Terrific. So, be here tomorrow at the same time, uh, and I will find this woman and introduce you to her. For oh, 10% of the gross of five. Find her? Why? I've known Hazel for years. I'm going over to her boss's office right now. Thanks again. <laughs> Join it. Almost had a job for Mama. <laughs> what do you mean you didn't get the advice from Hazel? Didn't you ask her? Of course I asked her. She just refused to give it. Oh, you're kidding. Hazel wouldn't do that. She would when she gets her back up. See, we had a little difference of opinion, and it's up higher than a camel's. Oh, well, what caused the ruckus? Well, she was just meddling in my affairs, and I told her to mind her own business. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, though, getting her advice isn't important anyway. Now, what do you mean it's not important? It's darned important. I can't make a move on those disposable skillets until I get